Kurt Portis um, and I manage Pausa Ridge. We're in the South Wairapa in a small town called Piranoa. You know, farming is a, is a, is a risky business, and a bit like every business, and we just try to minimise any issues that we're going to have. My name is Jim Law. I'm a director of the operation and one of the original um, shareholders. I work for an American corporation. I was in the, the petroleum business. We were dealing with a product that, as you know, can go bang, and it can do that very, very quickly. If I'm in the smoker room with the chaps and we are talking about health and safety, I've related one or two incidents that some colleagues of mine have been involved in, and the lads find that, I think, interesting. It's certainly different to hear, but the, but the core thing, like, for example, planning an operation that if you don't plan properly, things can go wrong rapidly in the petroleum business, but they can go wrong rapidly here if you're out ploughing a paddock or doing something like that. The ATVs is probably one of our highest risk vehicles that we've got on farm. The shepherds might be on there for about six hours a day. So the research out there, from what I've heard, is that no one has been injured or died from having a quad bar on the back of their quad. And when I heard that, if we don't put one on our quads for our staff, then, then I'm not doing my job to keep them safe on farm. We were talking about roll bars for the quads and the board were just saying, hey, let's put those on the bikes. We've had a few quad rollovers in the 10, 11 years that I've been here and they're all completely different random reasons. So to try and pinpoint it onto one aspect is just impossible. If we can give them a quad bar and know that, hey, they're not going to be getting squashed or we're going to reduce that risk, then that's a no-brainer to me.